Hey folks, welcome back. So as you may recall, last week we finally finished off the floor up here in the loft area. Uh, that was a long time in the coming, so that is finally finished up. So the first thing that I want to work on this week is getting this loft area cleaned up a little bit. So as you can see, we got a couple piles, one there and one over there, and those are all cutoffs of our floorboards, you know, the ends that we had to cut off to get it to cut to length, and a lot of it's just no good for anything. So I wanna get all that stuff moved out of here, cleaned up. We've got some floorboards left over in that area that we didn't need, so I wanna get those moved off to the side and stacked up, get those out of the way sweep all the sawdust and everything, get it kind of cleaned up here and at least in somewhat decent order. guys we got it all cleaned up up here all the sawdust is swept up we got all our boards piled over there all our tools along the wall there it looked pretty good up here it really does it's nice and clean all opened up I've got a few things that I want to move out of the truck now get those moved up into this area so they aren't rattling around in the back of there anymore but other than that I think we're basically done up here for the time being and we can now move on to other parts of this project. Alright guys, so today we are going to start work on the soffits and of course the first step for that is we got to mill up some boards for this. Now we're going to do it kind of weird, I've never seen it done like this before and we're gonna do it sort of in a, a board and batten style so we're gonna have two wide boards that are gonna be running lengthwise on the mill house here and then we're gonna run a, a thinner one probably three or four inches wide down the middle to cover up that gap I think it's gonna work 
we'll find out here probably after a few months if it's if it's going to work as well as i hope it will but anyway i've got a log picked out right here ready to go we're gonna cut a little bit off the end it's got a bit of a crotch on the one end there we don't want any of that uh we just want the, the lower part of the log that's good and solid and hopefully will be less likely to split or something like that Well, we got this guy all loaded up on here and as you may have noticed we do have a little bit of this bark inclusion from the crotch going in here just a little bit um, I was hoping it wouldn't go in this far but what I'm gonna try doing as you can see I've got it going parallel with the log bunks on here so hopefully uh, we'll be able to get some boards above and below this and it'll go in fairly straight into the log but we won't know until we open this thing up. Alright, well we got ourselves a nice little stack of lumber over here. Uh, this won't be enough for both sides. We didn't get quite that much out of the log. I didn't think we would either. But it'll definitely be enough to do the south side over here. I think this will be the first side we'll work on. But before we can start putting any of those up, we need to bring the miter saw from up in the loft down here. Well, we got our saw over here set up ready to go. So the next thing we need to do, of course, is cut these guys to length. And then we can start putting some of these up underneath the soffits.
right, well we've got our boards up along all through there. So this side has that part done. We still have to put the little batten strip down the middle to cover up our gap. But I haven't cut those yet, so we aren't going to do that today. If you've never had the pleasure of working on something above your head and having to hold your arms up there and do work with it like that, um, right now my arms feel something akin to, uh, I don't know, wet pasta, something like that. So I really don't want to put those up even if I did have them ready. So hopefully uh, we'll be back out here again tomorrow, and with any luck, We'll get the boards up on the other side and, and maybe we'll get the little batten strips on both sides as well and get this thing finished up. Alright, slight change of plans for today. My dad decided that he wanted to do a little bit of burning of brush up on the mountain there. He's been working on pulling out brush, you know, on weekends and stuff. And he's got a lot of piles of stuff up there. so. He decided today seemed like a good day to work on that. So he's got the loader up on the mountain with the brush grapple. So what we're going to work on today is we need to get some of these boards trimmed up. They've got a little bit of wane on the edges. We'll cut them down to the size that we need for the boards. And also we still have to cut all of our little batten strips that are going to run down that center gap and cover those up. We haven't cut those yet. So we're going to work on getting that stuff ready to go and then that will be hopefully the first thing that we'll work on next week. Alrighty, we got our log up here, loaded up, ready to go. That wasp or whatever got me right on the side of the arm under there. I'm not sure what its problem was. I didn't notice any sort of nest or anything there. I didn't see anything else swarming around, so I don't know what its problem was. But anywho, let's get this thing loaded up. Well, I think that will do us. We got a good stack of stuff here. I think that should finish us off for our soffits for both the boards 
and the battens that we have left to put on there. So the next step to do is get these guys cut to length and then I think that'll probably wrap it up for this week. Okay, well everything is now ready to go. So hopefully next week we can finish getting this stuff up. I do know that next week is gonna be kind of a crazy busy week because it's gonna be the first week that we've processed broiler chickens for this year. So that's gonna be happening the end of next week and I've got a couple other things I gotta work on. So I have a feeling that next week is gonna be kind of a short week, but hopefully, at the very least, we'll get the rest of the soffit board put up and get that part finished up. So, this is going to be it for this week. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time.